Let's talk about shooting mats. And I get a lot of questions from people, uh, especially at different matches, uh, you know, where we're shooting on anything from gravel to sand to coarse rock, uh, pea gravel, grass, uh, concrete. I mean, I've shot just about every kind of substrate you can think of. And, and I do get a lot of questions about it. And I, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen this one, which is my Creedmoor mat, which I absolutely love. It's the perfect padding for me. It's the right size. Uh, I'm gonna open it up here in a few minutes, but uh, it's got a cutout in the middle so that I don't have padding under my rear rest. Uh, it's an absolutely phenomenal bag, but I also travel. So I have to manage uh, certain aspects of traveling depending on where I'm going. Now, 98% of my matches are held within three hours of where I am, uh, maybe four hours, depending on the range. And in those cases, I'm always driving. So the Creedmoor mat goes with me 100% of the time. Now, before I had my Creedmoor mat, uh, I was shooting on this one here, which is an Eberly stock, Eberly stock, whatever it's, however it's pronounced. And, and it's been a great mat for me as well. I'll open it up in a second because we're going to compare some of these. And this is actually what I took with me just recently to Tennessee when I flew. And this went in my carry-on bag. For as small as this still rolled up, it was just too big for me. Um, I appreciate uh, that it was you know, considerably smaller from a flying aspect than my Creedmoor mat. But this wasn't cutting it. So meet the Depring, uh, you know, basically let's call it a no-name mat that rolls up into... Uh, the size of, uh, you know, smaller than like a uh, Nalgene bottle. So let's take a look at some measurements real quick, just so you have some perspective here. The Creedmoor mat is, is definitely going to be the longest, and we're looking at roughly 35, 36 inches wide. So that's definitely a larger mat to contend with. Uh, it's probably, you know, we're probably looking at... Uh, Let's see, rolled up. I could probably get it a little tighter, but roughly, let's say, nine inches, something like that. And then we have the um, Eberly stock, which is about 19, and I'm going to say it's six inches or so, six or seven, depending on how tight you wrap it. And then we have the Depring, which is eight inches by five inches, okay? So vastly different. Uh, you know, imagine carrying this versus this versus this. Uh, on an airplane. Now, in a truck or car or whatever, you got a lot more flexibility. So, um, this isn't like which mat is the best mat because uh, if I had my choice every time, it would be my Creedmoor. There just are times where it's not practical. So, that's why I have to have a second mat. So, let me uh, get these set up. I'll open them up and we will take a look and see how they compare. So, what do we get with the Creedmoor that makes me love it so much? Well, for one thing, the entire thing's padded. So, we have padding everywhere, except for right here where my rear rest goes. Uh, I uh, had some grommets installed at a local automotive store. Uh, you could put them in yourself, so that's easy. Uh, I, I sewed in a, a bottom here so that sand can't come through the hole. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, honestly, I got rid of all my knee pad shooting pants that I was using previously when I was using my Eberly stock all the time uh, because I can shoot on just about any kind of substrate and I don't feel it on my knees, even though this is a relatively thin pad. Uh, you know, it's, it's not super thick, but man, it just protects your body from the elements. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on each mat. I just kind of want to show you how they compare when they're unrolled. So there is the Creedmoor. Let's get the Eberly stock. Eberly stock? Ugh, I'm, I'm probably butchering it. Anyway, let's get it unrolled. Okay, so here's the uh, Eberly stock uh, unrolled. Let me just pan a little bit for you here. So you can see it's a little longer than the Creedmoor. And I've got it even a little bit ahead over here. So it is a little bit longer than the Creedmoor, which if you're longer uh, torsoed, which I am not, uh, you know, maybe that's a little bit of advantage. But this Everly stock is what I've shot on for years before getting the Creedmoor. And it served me very well. It rolled up compactly. There's not a lot of meat in terms of padding up here. Uh, but when you get into the back section, there's padding, which helps with your knees. Uh, my elbows always felt a bit of an impact up here. 
And again, if I was knee, if I was kneeling up here, uh, there was not really any padding. So that part was kind of a bummer. If you shoot with a bipod, uh, like TR or something, uh, or more of like a Harris, I should say, uh, there is a bar in here so you can preload against it if that's important, which isn't for me. But, and then I, uh, use some iron ons just to make a bag, a uh, bag location for me. Uh, I know it seems stupid. I don't really need it, but, um, I had made some cuts on this mat and so it sort of like fixed two problems at once, but, uh, that doesn't come like that, obviously. So, uh, this mat again has served me great. It has a, uh, waterproof membrane on the bottom here, which does help. Uh, although I haven't had any issues with the Creedmoor leaking through, but anyway, uh, for a thin mat, it's really important to have that if you're in wet environments. Uh, but, um, you know, that's about it. I did install the grommets on it. You can see there's grommets in the corner and that's mainly cause I shoot in some really windy areas. So I do like to anchor it down, but for traveling, it was just a little too big. So let me unroll my third bag here, or my third mat, and let's really take a look. And here we have the Depring again, rolled out on top of the, uh, the other mat. And you can see it's definitely narrower. Uh, without a doubt. I mean, look, there's always going to be sacrifices. Uh, it does come with grommets already. And actually the whole kit comes with, uh, some little plastic stakes that you can use, uh, like little tent stakes and an extra little bag you can fill with sand for like an elbow pad or, uh, something like that. About 30 bucks. The Eberly stock, if I remember right, I bought it years ago, but I, I want to say it's somewhere between 80 and a hundred. The Creedmoor mat's going to run you the full deluxe version like this is going to run you a uh, hundred something dollars. Uh, so, you know, there is some cost factor involved, but for me having a really nice high end mat, like the Creedmoor and then a cheap travel mat is a great combination. Uh, since 90, you know, 98% of my shooting is going to be on my quality mat. I want to spend the money where it matters for this. I'm okay with the lack of extra width here. I'm okay with the lack of padding. Uh, I'm even okay. If you look, uh, I'm okay with the lack of any kind of waterproofing because I'm just going to spray this with Scotch guard anyway. So, uh, I've shot on this a few times. I've shot on uh, top of gravel and I've shot on top of like concrete and no issues so far. You know, do I expect it to be as comfortable as the others? Absolutely not, but that's okay. Um, it's only going to get used once, twice, maybe three times a year. And, and when it gets used, it's going to be the absolute perfect item for me. So if you need a small travel type, um, mat just for, you know, maybe an, a hunt here or there, uh, whatever the case is, a match that you need to travel to and you don't want to take a full size mat, uh, this thing is great. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, the Eberly stock, if you don't mind something kind of in between, it's a phenomenal mat. It gives you a great combination with the padding and the, um, uh, water, waterproof membrane on the back. And then if you really want the top end, uh, you don't care, uh, kind of mat and you know, your, let's say comfort and, uh, joint protection is at utmost uh, necessity, then something like the Creedmoor is going to be the best. So anyway, um, you know, three different options, three different ways to think about traveling with mats, depending on what your needs are. And uh, if you have questions, hit me up below. Thanks again. And we'll talk soon.